What's up, team? Traders Warren wants to thank you, the viewer, for coming along with us on this journey. Make sure you check out the description tag as it has links to online brokerage, social media platforms, and also everything covered in the video will have a link so that you can go back and research it at your time. Let's go to war. What is up, team? Chuck with Traders War Room, and I'm back at you with another video. Listen, this is your Monday market wrap up and we got a great video in store for you. Lots of things to cover. Okay. We're going to talk about what the market did today. I got some segments on IPOs that I would need to discuss with you. We're going to talk about how to secure your portfolio for the future to make sure that you are in the best position possible moving forward in a volatile market. Okay. What I need you to do right now is like, share, subscribe, join the team, join the community, come with us on this journey. I got a social media platform for everyone out there. Facebook, Twitter, Discord, YouTube. There's something in it for everybody, okay? And as always, if you're ready, follow me and let's go to war. Traders War Room wants to remind the viewer that everything covered on this channel is for education and entertainment purposes only. You are responsible for every move and decision you make within your stock market journey. Let's go to war. Hey, welcome back team. Listen, before we get started, as always, I need to thank every team member that is on all the platforms that's coming with us on this journey, okay? You guys are the reason that this is so successful and we truly are cultivating an environment of shared learning and understanding in the stock market, okay? So first and foremost, thank you guys for coming with us, all right? And we're gonna get right into it, okay? With the segment I call the buzz report. So what's hot and what's not in the news? Let's get it. So it's no surprise the biggest news out there, ARK X ETF, the space ETF came out with its list, all of like 38 to 40 companies. Some of these are well known and we knew that they were gonna be in there, but some of them were surprised like Netflix is in this and Amazon and Baba and JD.com. So maybe Amazon makes sense because of their satellite and their space exploration endeavors, but some of these were just kind of weird, but some of them we knew were gonna be in there, SPCE, we got that. And some of the other ones like Lockheed Martin and Boeing, we knew that they were gonna be big players in here. So no surprise here, but this is big ticket and it's supposed to most likely come out either Tuesday or Wednesday. Another big hit news, this blank check company, if you guys remember him, Ackerman, they had the company PSTH. They were trying to get with the ABNB, the Air, Airbnb, but that ended up not going through because Airbnb went IPO, but they've been just sitting there, just holding their time, looking for another company to get in and are starting to make some waves in the news. So keep your eye out on this because they're actively looking for something to merge with and it could shoot up very quickly. And last but not least, this one, this one's more for my son because Odell Beckham Jr. is one of his favorite athletes, but I thought this was interesting. Tribe Capital Growth has Odell Beckham as one of their strategic advisors. Now, I'm not sure what Odell Beckham's business endeavors are or his background in business, but you know, if this is some sort of sports related or some sort of something that he's into, he can definitely generate a lot of, you know, following, especially with this younger crowd. And this could possibly be something to look into, especially if this is a company that's going to start going IPO. So we're going to keep watch on this one. All right, moving on into our learning part. Remember, we got four principles here at Traders War Room. We got planning, training, managing, and securing, all right? We're gonna talk about planning, okay? I'm gonna teach you guys, and some of you may already know, but if you don't know, this is a learned experience right here. We're gonna talk about IPOs, so let's get it. So I wanted to share this website with you guys. I like to go here when I'm looking at upcoming IPOs. As you see, there's 10 total here, Market Watch. You scroll over, you can see that they're all coming in this week. Looking at the price range, you know, we're and what I like about this is you can click on it. You know, we'll look at this one right here, KLTR, and you can scroll down and see if there's any news, you know, popping off and, uh, you know, kind of pick up on some tidbits or what it's about. As we see right there, we got something Mark Watch has it about valued up to two billion. Let's click on it. All right, and it takes us to the news and we can scroll down and this is all just for getting DD and research topics, okay? Just tells you kind of what's going on with the company, what's happening, and just gives you a lot of information that could make you excited about it. 
So before we get into meat and potatoes on IPOs, let's talk about what it is. It's the first sale of a stock by a company, and small companies use this to further the growth of their company and go for traditional IPOs as a way to generate capital needed to expand, a way to make money, okay? Now, I want to be very clear. IPOs are very volatile, and it's dangerous, okay? We saw that with the CCIV and the merger, right? So CCIV was talking about the merger, and they came in, and they rolled all the way up to like 70 some odd dollars and then when the merger was named and you knew the company that they were going to merge with the stock tanked you see a lot of this all the time wish was another one which came in banging okay and then it rode high and then all of a sudden no one's even talking about wish anymore okay so if you got in at the high and it just dipped down you may be staying at the low level for a while until this comes back up but once again, these are companies that are trying to make a name for themselves and trying to generate capital and make it into the big leagues. Next thing I wanted to share and check the description tab. This will have it in Investopedia. I like Investopedia. It's pretty dummy proof and it's, you know, very beginner basics. And it's just a good source just to get some information and reinforce some of your knowledge. OK, it talks about the pros and cons of IPOs here and they have uh, hyperlinks that you can go in and I like this the key takeaways it wraps it up in kind of a nice format so you can get the you know the so what of the thing let's look at snap right here you know pulls it up we get the chart and it has a wealth of knowledge in Investopedia it tells you company profile a lot of information like I said this is just generating thought-provoking content for you to do some research on so Investopedia highly recommend it check it out and I use it all the time. All right, before we end, I wanna show you how I did in the stock market and show you some of the things I'm watching for the remainder of this week. And hopefully some of these will pop. And you know what? Maybe some of them are on your guys' watch list as well. So let's check to see how my portfolio is doing and what I think is going to pop or what I got my eye on coming into the end of this week. Let's go. First, we got the You Pick It, I Buy It, EXFO, as promised, purchased, a hundred dollars worth of this Monday morning on a dip that I saw convenient and we're gonna ride this out and see how it does and update on the Friday video as you see there's my position not too worried about this I'm up on the day almost two percent we'll see how this goes and again we update on Friday with all the holdings in the you pick it I buy it all right first and foremost let's look at my portfolio this is how I'm doing on the live film of it as you see I'm a little bit down live a lot of that is my bitcoin and erythium and my crypto plays moving into the day you see that i'm up 23 dollars. a lot of that has to do with some of my calls and puts that i sold out today for profit you see on the week i'm still down almost 200 bucks that's why i'm using the option plays while i'm letting some of my longer term plays sit and chill with this volatility to make a little bit of income short term these are some of my option plays I got going on that expire at the end of the week. You see a lot of red, but a lot of these I got in on dips, so they're actually in the money. And I'm waiting until tomorrow to see what they do, and most likely I'm going to sell for profit. I don't like letting these go to expiration because you tend to lose out on options because it's a gamble. So I don't like to gamble too hard. I like more of a sure thing, especially when I'm trying to generate money. Because I'm a transparent guy, I'm showing you guys my activity for today. All the negatives are things I bought. As you can take a look, I bought a lot of calls today. And just so that you guys are aware and bring your attention to this, anytime you see a cancel, I put a limit sell on some of my plays that I already had. And it canceled out because it didn't hit my price target. But listen, tomorrow morning, once again, I'm going to put my price target. And when it hits it, I'm going to sell out. And hopefully I make a pretty penny with these. But none of these hit my price target today. And that's why they canceled out at the market bell. And as you see right there, the pluses, that's some of the profit I made from some of my puts and my calls that I sold today. And listen, you notice I didn't have a lot of on-hand cash from all this profit. Well, that's because in order to make money, you got to invest money. And I reinvested in calls that I had conviction on so that I can generate some money throughout the week and hopefully come out big at the end of the week. So only time will tell, and we'll update on Friday and see where I'm at. First play I want to show you I'm actually down on is AGRX. This had a couple catalysts that were supposed to be popping off and then the market took a crash. So we're gonna see my position and hopefully this will come rebound here in the near future. But if not, I'm considering getting rid of this position. 
As you see, I got 100 shares in this position, so I got my position fully built out, but it's hitting at negative 9%. Remember my rule, negative 9 to negative 15, I consider getting out of that and pivoting that capital into something else that is better positioned to perform in the near term. Next play needs no introduction. Everyone knows what BNGO is all about. Let's look at my position. As you see, I'm built up 75 shares. I'm at negative 6% in this. I'm not worried about this near term because this right here is a 15 to $21 play, okay? I see this going to the $20 within 90 days, 120 days at the longest. This is going to double up my money. There is all confidence in the world in this play right here. Mark my words. My next play, FTFT, Future Fintech. I got high hopes for this one. This is a $12 to $13 play near term. I see it going there 60 to 90 days. See my position, 50 shares, starting to build out to my 100 shares there. I'm at plus 3.84% currently. I'm going to continue buying dips on my way to 100. PLTR is another play. Listen, this is a $50, $60 play long term, okay? I see it hitting $55 by the end of the year. I wouldn't be surprised if this... Once the market rebounds, if this shoots up and gets into the $40, $45 range almost immediately. See, I'm at negative 7% right here. 30 shares building out to my 100 shares. I'm not worried about this one fluctuating with the market. This is another long-term hold for me. Like I said, this is a $50, $60 play long-term. End of the year, I see this sitting at 55 Last but not least, Nano Dimensions. Listen, this play has been a rinse and repeat for me many times, okay? Currently, I'm not sitting too deep because I just got back into it, but I'm already sitting up. Let's look at my position. Currently sitting at 10 shares, up 5%. Look, this is another one that once the market settles down and the tech type stocks start rebounding, this is gonna shoot up and I got full confidence that this is gonna hit 15 to $20 in no time, okay? So I'm gonna keep building my position on any dips and I'm gonna build it out to that 100 shares that I like to sit at. All right, team, hey, that's a wrap. That's it, I'm not gonna waste any more of your time, okay? Listen, we truly are doing something special here, okay? We keep growing all the time and we're getting a lot of comments and a lot of feedback, all right? A lot of engaging content and thought-provoking content, all that stuff that makes a group and a community successful, okay? Keep up the good work and keep coming along with us. Hey, because that Traders War Room, we look at the stock market as a war zone. The stocks and the sectors, those are our battles, okay? We attack, destroy, and conquer, and we do it together as a team, all right? Listen, as always, if you're ready, follow me and let's go to war.